first of all, fuck Golden State. Fuck Stephen Curry. Fuck Draymond Green. Fuck Klay Thompson. Motherfuck Kevin Durant. And fuck you, Zaza Pachulia. And I'll even say it. Fuck Steve Kerr. Because, yeah, you know, I used to like Steve Kerr when he was a part of the Chicago Bulls. But you get too much credit for doing too little. All right? I could coach this fucking uh, team to at least 64 fucking wins. I could even coach this fucking team. Pay me $100,000 a year. And let me coach the fucking Golden State Warriors. And we'll win at least 65 fucking games. All right? Mark Jackson put this team together. Now. This video is primarily on Zaza Pachulia. Mr. Want to be tough guy now. I play with Golden State Warriors. You didn't hear shit from me when I was with Atlanta Hawks. Or Milwaukee Bucks. Or Dallas Mavericks. But now that I'm with best team in league. Now I got, I'm all over everywhere. Russell Westbrook, I put you on your ass. I am the great Zohan. Where's my fizzy bubbler? I promise you pain, my friend. The fuck out of here, okay? Role players should know their roles. All right? Kenny Smith irritates me because he tries to compare himself with legends. But at least Kenny Smith in his prime was something close to an all-star with the Kings. Okay? The Kings were bad, but Kenny Smith, you know, had some game. Yeah, you know, he had a couple of seasons putting up about 17 points, 7 assists. Okay? That's that's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Zaza Pachulia, you've been a you've been a borderline bum your entire fucking career. All right, you're not the worst fucking player, but you're not a fucking all star, and it's an insult to pass all stars like the great legendary Julius Irvin and Michael Jordan and Akeem Olajuwon and Larry Bird and Magic Johnson and Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Russell and Bob Pettit and Bob Cousy, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Oscar Robertson, Bill Walton. It's an insult to the hundreds of certifiable all-stars like Jerry West and Elgin Baylor that you're even on the ballot, let alone second and front court voting in front of the likes of LaMarcus Aldridge and DeMarcus Cousins and Anthony Davis. And the only person you're fucking behind is your fellow fucking turncoat, Kevin Durant. Zaza, let me tell you something. You're one trade away from being irrelevant, okay? One trade away. In the past, though, the role players knew their roles. You didn't see Luke Longley, you know, uh, doing the little fucking uh, uh, shimmy dances or gypsy dances, what the fuck you be doing, you know what I'm saying? He knew his role. He was him and Bill Walton and Dickie Simpkins, they were fortunate to be on that fucking team. All right, the Lakers, Kurt Rambis, hustle, tenacity, all that shit. Knew his fucking role. Rick Carlisle, knew his role with the Celtics. Mark Averoni, knew his role with the Sixers during their run. You need to know your role. You're not a fucking all-star. You're not. You're not. I don't give a fuck what... Your home country's voting, okay? They're idiots who don't fucking watch basketball. You're not a fucking all-star. This is why I've been saying fan boys are ruining fucking basketball. Do you need any more proof? Do you need any more proof that fan boys are ruining NBA? This is why I've been saying this shit for years. This is the fruition. This is the fruition of my fucking rants. This is the culmination and the confirmation of what I've been talking about for 10 fucking years. We got to the point where Zaza fucking Petrulia is the leading fucking vote getter for centers. And I don't want to hear no shit about, oh, it's the intangibles. Um, you know, the stats don't show everything. No. He's, he's not a fucking all-star at all. There's no reason 
why. Okay, it's, I, I can understand if a great player is playing on a loaded front court with a bunch of rebounders and his rebounds per game are a little bit low or, you know, uh, his presence on the court, you know, he's a great defensive player and his presence on the court helped to make other people more accurate. No. No, it's none of that shit. It's none of those intangibles with Zaza Pachulia. What it is, is he's playing on a fucking loaded team. This is why the first year of his career, he's shooting on 50% from the field, and he still misses fucking chip shot layups. He's a fucking bum. And I'm fucking done. 